Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Paulette. Um, I am a spiritual coach. Um, this channel is about spirituality, obviously. Um, astrology, philosophy, and um, otherworldly experiences, to say the least. Um, with your host, moi. Hello. Um, I'm actually gonna spark one event about a lot of shit that's been going on um oh this channel's for 18 and up if you're not 18 if you're not up get on so i'm in my car <laughs> duh <laughs> but i'm in my car right now and um i started to realize that i have a lot of downloads when i'm driving or when i'm washing the dishes so I wanted to talk about a couple things. This is not really like 11 11 on the clock. This is not really like, um, I don't know. I guess we could say a motivational video, whatever, or a, a, a rant, whatever the fuck. Yeah, this is a rant. I wanted to talk about how I don't resonate with a lot of shit that I used to resonate with. I don't want to have the same friends anymore. Like, although I love these people, I feel like necessarily I have outgrown them. I don't know if this is another ascension that I'm going through necessarily, but in this current situation, I'm in this path that's telling me that I need to be persistent with creating content for you guys because we are all kind of living the same situation probably like a couple months apart or going through similarities in i want to say like collectively because even though like i come on here and i talk doesn't mean that a bitch is not going through it a bitch be going through it and sometimes I've noticed that I put myself in these situations. I don't know if it's for growth or for what the fuck what. But I see why they say that astrology is like all connected, y'all. Because learning about myself just pushed me. I'm currently going through this stage in my life when I don't resonate with the people who I used to resonate with. I don't want to do the same things that I used to do. I don't want to be in the same place. I actually don't even want to work. I don't want to work. Um, I don't think that this whole thing of working your whole fucking life and then retiring when you're fucking old when we're so young right now and we can definitely work but not necessarily for it to kill us like guys i'm going through this area in my life where like i don't want to have to bust my ass drastically in order to get the things that i want two three four on the clock when i said that and I'm really fucking tired of people making me or wanting to change the fact that I say that I don't want to work so hard to obtain certain things. I don't think that I should work my whole fucking life. And I'm sorry if I'm cussing a lot, but I don't think I should work my whole fucking life and then retire when i'm 50 60 years old like for what like ya para que, you know yeah i'm gonna be old as hell i'm not gonna be able to enjoy certain shit like the way that i would have wanted to when i'm this age i'm understanding to like better understand myself when it comes to certain situations because i have definitely outgrown a character that i used to be and i say a character because i feel like in different seasons and in changes in your life you become someone else but how i think in my head and i don't know if everyone else thinks like this i hope the fuck so bitch i hope the fuck so but 
in my head i feel like i'm the main character like i feel like i'm the main fucking character and I, like all these things that keep happening it's just because i'm getting close to like a breakthrough or something bitch i don't know but i'm in this area of my life where you know what i don't want to work that hard i want to be able to be free and part of being free is part of working enough to pay like i don't want to fucking bust my ass and i also don't feel like a nine to five is like a thing that i need to do and i'm so, I, you're probably really fucking good at it pero yo no puedo i can't like the more i study my chart the more i realize why i feel this way and why certain things resonate with me like that i just don't really like authority i don't like getting in trouble with the police either like i don't want nothing to do with the popo you keep the popo away from this ho ho um but like even at work bitch like i i can't like i hate when people tell me what to do i hate when a boss tells me what i gotta do when i know what i what i already gotta do like why you gotta fucking tell me when i come in bitch like i'm fun to get to dudes that okay so right now i'm in this place where i know exactly what i want i know exactly what i want and i know that it's gonna take a lot of courage for me to do it because i have to come on here and show myself and it's like my scorpio my scorpio moon is like uh i don't know bitch but the leo in the 10th house is like do it bitch or i'm gonna make you do it and i'm like oh whoa 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 i'll do it i'll do because you know when you know when <laughs> and only real spiritual people know this right now but when you when you fucking oh my god when you when spirit is telling you you gotta leave some shit alone and you is not leaving that shit alone y'all spirit will mm, spirit will push your ass universe whatever ever you believe in god the universe whatever will push you like slingshot you into doing what you need to do like god will answer like that one particular prayer or thought like amazon shipping bitch like the the next day like <laughs> give me a minute man i just barely prayed for it jesus <laughs> like let me warm up to it hell no hell not and you know what sometimes i really like tower moments sometimes i really like tower moments because they show me the shit that i'm lacking in you know and the shit that i need to grow from and for a long time i've been really afraid to come on here and be myself but the more i started to realize that i'm really that bitch and that i'm here um you know to expand the mind of others and help them possibly fulfill that life purpose by me just being myself bitch i'm good i'm good with that i'm good with that because i have i've been through a lot of shit y'all and i'm not just speaking like i don't i'm not like i just been through a lot of shit ho i've been through a lot of shit and i could relate with a lot of different shit so you know I don't want to experience not living up to what I know that I should be doing. Um, I've been through a lot of shit. So when I come on here, it's mainly like to... Because, cause you know, I have to go through those things. I don't like to give advice on things that I don't go through. So you know right now going through this feeling of i thought that i was gonna feel better when i moved to wisconsin 
and I thought things were gonna be easier moving over there because I really like branched away from my family. My family is in Illinois, I'm in Wisconsin, you know. Um, I thought I was gonna feel a lot better, but in fact, I wish I could have left further. And I wish, and I don't, I'm not, whew, now on, I'm just gonna be myself. But I feel like I should have gone further away than how I did. Um, now that I kind of like study astrocartography, and I kind of like understand it a little bit more, I really want to leave completely. Like Illinois, I want to leave Wisconsin. Like I want to branch out and live by myself in a whole other state, far away from this area. <laughs> so right now, I don't even want to teach. I don't want to teach. I don't want to be a teacher anymore. For a lot of you that don't know, I'm a teacher assistant. So I translate um, like to the children that come here and don't um, speak full English. I am the translator. I translate the whole class and I teach to my student, um, sometimes one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes two or three kids at a time at once. Um, I translate for them the entire class um, from English to Spanish so um i don't even want to do that like i don't even feel motivated to do that just because i already know my purpose and that my purpose like i don't feel that i'm living purposeful because i'm not walking in the purpose that i already know that i should be doing if that makes sense like i already know that you know my career is going to be doing this is going to be coming on here and showing you guys like what the fuck is up and i right now i'm in in a state of my life where i know what i want to do i know this is what i like i want to do this and um like just the fact of me knowing that i want to be a content creator and come on here and tell you guys you know kind of what i have going on and maybe if you guys are going through the same thing because i feel like i've broken out of like what everybody else is trying to do and and if you're trying to do that cool but i'm not trying to be in like corporate america i don't feel and I hope this is not like me pushing it like too far to the edge. But I feel like I just wasn't born to work a nine to five. I feel like the only way that I will be happy now is by coming on here and speaking to you guys like truthfully and honestly and bluntly about life and a lot of other observations that i might have so now that i you know i'm in my purpose i know what i'm supposed to be doing now anything that is out of my purpose i don't want parts i don't want to hang out with the same people i don't want to i don't even watch tv i read more um you know i started eating healthier i fast and i i've been meditating at least for the past like seven to ten days now seven to ten days now i've been meditating like consistently i've been journaling and i feel really really good i feel so much better um it's just like now i am not happy where i work i'm not happy anything that doesn't have to do or in alignment with this path that i know that i need to take and i know necessarily i don't have to be a tarot reader um you know i'm good at tarot but i'm not the best i could use some practice but i'm pretty good and that i'm i'm just good at it like i'm not even considering doing tarot or making this like a tarot channel i'm not considering that at all but you know i'm good at that shit too but I know I'm really good at just coming on here and being myself and letting you guys know like, hey, do y'all feel like this? Because I definitely do. I know my purpose. And if I'm not walking in my purpose, I start to get agitated or like overwhelmed because 
you know now i understand now i cracked the code now i see what was what is supposed to happen you know you're supposed to um grow every season and you know what this has been popping up like crazy all over my fucking timeline uh, facebook twitter fucking snapchat i don't fucking know even how on snapchat like this is why i be saying we're all synchronized together like collectively because little do you guys know sometimes you guys post shit and it aligns exactly with what the fuck i was thinking so it's like y'all be coming in clutch with the confirmation like gotta be like yes talk about that i have been noticing videos of like the other day i seen a tiktok of this lady who was sorry my waist beat is like fucking me up so the other day i had seen this video right of this girl that she was talking about um seasons and cycles and how god gives us seasons which is like you reap what you sow or the karma and the devil creates these things called cycles so cycles are continuously repeating like recycle cycles and god gives us seasons so the reason why we continue repeating a cycle and don't grow from that is because the devil places these like when you start doing the work on yourself the devil will place a cycle and you will have to crack either you know sometimes god allows that to happen sometimes the devil just does it because he mimics everything god does season cycles so when that happens you know you could get stuck in a cycle and not even know it and that's the whole point of having like clear discernment and then god creates seasons where you do good and you receive good and that's like the wheel of fortune you know I don't know why it's coming down like this as a download right now but yeah like i've been stuck in a cycle of um not wanting to let certain things go um not even just relationships but friendships too like there are certain friendships that i know that are not good for me and you know i always try to especially because you know i don't have any friends like i'm a very loner person um it's really hard for me to trust people and it's all the scorpio in my chart um it's just really hard for me to trust fucking people like i do not socialize <laughs> like i'm i can and i'm really good at it but do i want to I bet you know it's a scorpio and like i don't want to get to know people no more <laughs> like i done learned my lesson you know like i'm cool over here in the back watching everybody like y'all do y'all shit but yeah guys like i just been in this um not funk but i just been in this era of my life where i want this to happen because it's gonna happen and and it's just like a matter of time before it does but in the meantime i've been getting a lot like to enjoy my journey i've been getting that card a lot in my tarot readings to enjoy my journey and i'm trying my best oh shook that a little too hard but i've been trying my best to like um change my perspective in things and change the the way that i navigate through you know different outcomes that are being thrown my way um right now i'm going in a stage where i really if it doesn't have anything to do with my growth or like what i really want to do with my life i don't want it around me i don't resonate with friends that i used to have i don't really give a fuck about like being out like i want to be out because i want to see different places obviously i'm a sagittarius i want to travel i love traveling but right now my main goal is to leave the city that i came from like i do not see myself raising my kids here i do not see myself living my whole life here i do not see my parents being here um 
I do not see myself working a nine to five. I do not believe that I, anybody, anybody, I'm not, not, not just me, but I believe that nobody should be working a nine to five. Um, I don't think, I don't think that's, that's like anything to aim for. And if, the, and if you do that, that's okay. But, but me, I feel like, um, it's just too much and there are so many hours of the day where you could just be working on giving more time to your family and giving more time to just loving yourself i'm trying to better that area of myself where i don't want to move past certain situations like i don't want to leave friends behind i don't like that's not part of me no more so now i i started to realize that i do better like when I'm by myself, I do better in hermit mode and place right now where I can really be doing the shit that I used to do because now I understand that like I'm not here to do what everybody else is doing like I'm here to do my own thing and I'm here to talk to the collective and people are calling me crazy people are like you're crazy because you want to you know pursue being a youtuber you're crazy because you do like tarot readings and stuff like that like that's real crazy shit for you to be doing shit like that but you know what I don't know man I don't know I feel personally like if other people can live their dream, like, why the fuck can't I? Like, you're trying to minimize me. Baby, you're trying to minimize me. I, I don't... Whoa. Chill. Chill out with me. Don't don't try to minimize me just because you couldn't fulfill your dream. Like, I want to do this. And I feel like it's important for me to do this because this is what God wants me to do. God wants me to come on here. God, universe, spirit, whatever it is to you. God wants me to come on here and talk about how me letting go of certain shit elevated me for me to receive the stuff that I have now. Like, all I had to do was put myself first and know who the fuck I am, hold my morals up, and grow from that shit. Grow from that shit. That's, that's where these lessons come from, like... This was just a lesson and you got to pick it up and go from here, girl. Because you you stuck on this shit for too long and you can't keep being stuck on that. I used to come out here and be so fucking afraid of what people were going to think about me or say about me or care. Like now, I don't really give a fuck. It is what it is. So, um, rant is over. <laughs> I just know collectively I'm here to make a difference. I know that I'm here to, you know, be the voice to a lot of fine single plus size moms who fuck with um, astrology, spirituality, esoteric knowledge, and all that other shit, okay? <laughs> that was so strong. That was, such, that was so Sagittarius of me. But listen, bitch, I'm here. I'm here, okay? I'm here to do this shit. And I'm gonna shake everybody world up. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go. Um, mainly because I'm gonna go pick up my kids. I'm about to go pick up my babies. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these. So. Uh. And thank you for coming to this little smoke sesh. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.